Let's become profilers. Okay. Let's start taking lessons on our next day off. I'm off Friday. How about you? I think we would. it would be interesting. Being a profiler requires being smart. Oh, then maybe I should be the profiler. And you wonder why I'm your only friend. Could you imagine us as profilers? Is this the cue for the fantasy sequence? Yeah, I think so. Cheating is not an accident. Falling off a bike is an accident. You don't just trip and fall into a vagina. E-cards. So the Vic's name is um, Spencer Matthews, 24 years old, college student, avid coffee drinker. Um, his friend said he hasn't been seen for three days. He goes in about his normal routine, runs eight blocks, drinks a lot of coffee, does yoga. Forensics say that the body's been here for at least two days. That means the unsung must have known this guy doesn't have any friends or, or has no life. How the hell did he get in here without it being noticed? No sign of force entry. No windows seem to be broken in, so I'm guessing the victim let our unsub in. You guess? Yes, I'm a profiler. I guess. Okay. Spencer Matthews has no family in the state. He's been distant from them since graduating high school. I went to Matthews' workplace earlier, asked a few questions to some of the coworkers. I guess come to find out, he's had it out with one of the coworkers a lot over the last few years. How come? Apparently, the word on the street is he's been having an affair with his wife. Any evidence of the affair? No solid evidence yet, but from testimony, it seems like he's been seeing somebody. He's been calling people late at night, and he's also been taking time off work for suspicious, suspicious reasons. Are you going to question the couple? I have them coming in for questioning. Zadie, I want you to talk to the husband. I want you to use your girl's charm if you have to. I'm going to question the wife and see if I can get any answers out of her. So you worked with Spencer Matthews? Unfortunately, yeah, I worked with the prick. How well did you know him? I know he was boning my wife. These aren't like the ones that me and Rocco use. How well did you know Mr. Matthews? I didn't know him too well. I, I just knew him through Rocco and his work. And um, one time, he, him and Rocco, they didn't get along. Because one time Rocco saw him stealing. Huh. Stealing money, okay. Interesting. How did your husband know the victim was stealing money from the company? Because I walked in on him taking cash out of the safe. And sir, what type of company do you work for? I drive to a bunch of countries all the time. Okay, so then how would you know if your wife was having an affair? Have you seen me? I'd do me. Were you having an affair? No. Why would I have an affair? Have you seen Rocco? You just know. I mean, I can tell you're having an affair with your partner, aren't you? This is about you. You are being questioned for murder. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand it, but I also understand you should go boink your partner there. He's pretty good looking. So were you having an affair with Mr. Matthews? No. Why would I do that? We have a murder victim, Miss Gusweiler. Do you understand that? Yes, I understand that. You showed me the pictures. And do you realize that you or your husband or a combination of both are the suspects of this murder investigation? Why else would you have me in handcuffs? I don't feel that you realize the serious of the situation. A human being is dead. Can I get some coffee? I get that he's dead. Everyone's upset, but I didn't do it. Your husband has admitted to having affairs with other women, and he has told us that you have affairs on him while he's on the road. Now, are you trying to tell me that you would not have an affair with someone he works with? No, I wouldn't do that. Did you kill Spencer Matthews? No, I didn't, Miss FBI Cleavage Showin Officer. Did you murder Spencer Matthews? No, but I had his penis in me. So you've been lying to me? 
Maybe. Why have you been lying to me? Because I didn't want you to think that I was being a whore. I don't care about your personal life, Miss Gusweiler. I am concerned and my priorities lie with Mr. Spencer Matthews and who killed him. And do you realize, with you lying to me about the affair, that you are now suspect number one in this murder investigation? Can I tell you something? Is it going to be helpful to me, Miss Gusweiler? Yes. A few days ago, I was at a truck stop right outside of here, and uh, Rocco pulled up. She was all up in Spencer Matthews' crotch, so you be the judge on that. He caught me and Spencer in the back of the truck in a very compromising position. Did he get violent? Well, he punched him. Is that violent? Did your husband kill Mr. Matthews? Yes. Would you be willing to submit to a DNA test? Sure. Yes. My husband's crazy. Who do you think did it? I'm sorry to say, they're both hiding something. I think the husband did it. He's questionable. He's... He's... Questionable at best, yes. The wife... First tells me no affair happened. Then she tells me it does, does happen. Then she wants to pin the whole thing on her husband. That seems a little bit suspicious to me. I don't think Daisy is capable of that. Have you seen her? She's kind of a sissy. Yeah. Well, come to find out she, her record isn't that clean. Neither is his. Yes, but the biggest offense on his record is public urination. Okay, but we found his urine on the body. I don't know, I guess the DNA results will tell us. Okay. Oh, this must be the result. Zadie. Yeah, I, I, I understand. It was who we thought it was all along. Yep. Alright, I will let... I will let him know. Okay, thank you very much. Alright. See you later. Bye. We have the result. Looks like. We'll make it an arrest warrant. Oh, hey, you here to show me more cleavage? Mr. Gasweiler? Yes? You were under arrest for the murder of Spencer Matthews. Why? We found your DNA all over the body. Your wife told us. She confessed that it was you. She knows it was you. She also confessed that I was the best sex of her life. I know that's full of shit. Stand up. You gonna frisk me? No. I just said you're under arrest. Can I finish my call? No, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You really? have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Man. Sounds like my wedding vows. Do you understand these rights? Uh, I, I what you sounded like was official, but I can't recite what you said to me. I need you to put your coffee cup down and let's go. We're going. It's almost done. You gonna carry me? Carry me? I like to be tied up too. 